Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. Coming to you live from Oldsmar, and this is little Hunter making some, making his normal little snorts. Hope you're doing uh, doing well. Thanks for coming to my YouTube channel today. We're gonna do a little chocolate update here, real quick. Talk about uh, Julia and uh, maybe a little bit of signs, some remnants coming into the Gulf next week. Nothing to worry about. But uh, Julia is looking pretty impressive right now. Here's a scoop. It's tropical storm Julia. Winds are 60 miles an hour. We got hurricane warnings up in red. Uh, could strengthen a little more like we talked about. The NHC bumped it up to 90. This thing's looking pretty darn healthy. Most of the winds are on the north side. Uh, Counterclockwise flow. Most of the heavy stuff, just like we see in the Gulf here, rotates up on the top side. So that's that's where we got. Uh, it's supposed to, uh, a lot of mountains over Central America, it's supposed to weaken pretty quick um, into a depression. NHC is not showing much past that. However, We'll see what happens long range. Here's what it looks like on satellite. Pretty darn impressive, right? Got some spinach and uh, really looking healthy this morning. So it's going to be a surprise for a lot of folks. It might, uh, you know, it could inch up there more than 90 mile an hour. I mean, it, it definitely is deepening right now over those warm um, Caribbean islands. It's going to dump a lot of rain. Uh, the NHC always has their key messages right here, and uh, they're talking about it. Uh, hurricane force winds, dangerous storm surge, and uh, life-threatening flash flooding, mudslides, all the, uh, unfortunately, all the normal stuff you see there with a hurricane coming coming at you. So we'll keep an eye on it. Here latest spaghetti models. They're all over the place. There has been some that have been uh, teasing the idea that we could see some popping in here to the BOC, the Bay of Campeche. So very low chances of that. I've been seeing it all over the internet. There's a little bit of hype going on but right now uh <clears throat> very 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 low chance that this thing reforms uh in in the gulf of mexico so here's the latest tropical tidbit spaghetti models it does show remnants you know coming up into the gulf there is a cold front coming down next week uh which i'll show here in a second uh midweek it's going to introduce a lot of wind shear and uh, kind of keep those conditions a little uh, more on the unfavorable side. Uh, there is a pretty hefty front coming down. Here's some of the latest uh, weathernerds.org uh, ensembles. We've always had one or two random euros showing p potential. Yeah, you know, that's two out of 51, so very low chances. But it's enough to mention. It's enough to mention. We've had have had storms in the past. You know, try to form down here from a, a remnant low or you know energy that come across from the caribbean so just keep that in the back of your mind you know going into next week um some of the euros obviously keep it going west into the pacific the uh, gfs kind of thinking the same thing a couple couple members don't even get it much past the gulf of mexico so good news there um some of the shear maps here, let me show you this one real quick here's the shear this is the expected wind shear in the Gulf uh, middle of next week. <clears throat> Very strong wind shear showing up uh, during during the first part, uh, middle part of the week. And uh, anytime you get a lot of wind shear, it helps prevent tropical development, at least into anything too strong. Here's GFS actually showing it almost like a subtropical jet setting up here. You can see the jet stream almost dipping down south. Uh, this is next Thursday, next Friday. So a lot of wind shear. So I'm very low chances right now of anything coming out of this, uh, out of the Gulf. But if it could linger down there a couple days, you never know. But as of now, that subtropical jet's supposed to hang on for a while. And that pushes a lot of upper level wind shear. Some of your individual models here on uh, tropicaltidbits.com. You can kind of see the whole thing in here. The storm fizzles, a little bit of juice comes up, gets sucked up into this front midweek next week, and then kind of just comes through Florida. So the front is coming through Florida next week. Uh, there's going to be some rain, you know, cool front. Uh, here's a Euro, and the 00Z kind of brings up a little energy, gets merged up with that front, you know, hangs on a little bit of low. You know, 1,009. Yesterday, the 12Z kind of teased a little bit more of a chance that this could be a little something stronger uh, attaching to that tail end of the front. This would be next Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, you know, just small chances right now. Not Nothing to worry about. But I just wanted to throw it out there. Here's what it would look like on the water vapor loop. You can see it during the week. This is next Tuesday. Starting to pull up this moisture. This is next Monday, next Tuesday. See that moisture that's left over? Julia. 
Uh, but then we got a big front coming in. Dry air into brown and yellow. Uh, pushes that thing and shoves it, kind of sucks it up into that frontal line. This is next Thursday. And, you know, anything gets merged up, it's just going to probably bring increase moisture more than anything. Um, so the, I guess the, the real story is the cold front making it way through for, Florida next uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, so, yeah, cold front. That's the story. Next week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And uh, it's going to bring some dry air, some cooler air down out of Florida next Friday, Saturday. So, look, you know, weekend looks decent. Uh, but, you know, we'll just watch for lingering effects. But there you go. Travel update. Uh, Julia looking pretty healthy right now. Uh, let's pop up one more satellite imagery just to show you here kind of what the vis visible satellite looks like. And uh, you can kind of see it. it. It's definitely got the look here. It's getting good good uh, convection, a lot of lightning on the outer bands. And uh, it's getting getting organized. So stay safe down there in uh, Central America. We got a lot of people watching that's going to be coming in, coming in on you, on you quick. So... All right, that's it. I'll, keep, I'll be watching things as always. Always uh, keep an eye on the topics for you. Thanks for subscribing here on YouTube and uh, enjoy your weekend. All right, everybody. Bye bye.